we on? We're on. Alrighty, yeah. Welcome to another episode. So I finally got an idea what I'm actually going to do back here. Shelves across the top, similar to the other side. Um, if you haven't already, make sure you hit that uh, like and subscribe button so we see you on the next video. And uh, yeah, let's just get into it. This is Hack TV, where we have a crack at building whatever, however. Let's get into it. Building the shelves out of offcuts, so let's finally use up the rest of these offcuts. to get set up to start ripping all these boards to size so painful job but it's got to be done right yeah so I'm just gonna work on this fall back do this corner first because last time I did it the other way around it was a bit of a squeeze to try and get it in there so I'm gonna drop this pretty much gonna follow same measurements that I had done on that side. I may actually do this one a little bit shallower, hit 350 on that side, I might just do 300. So, try and get this done. And not sure if you're gonna be able to hear me soon because it is about to bucket down. So, try and get as much as this talking done out of the way now. It's only taken me 20 cuts to get this uh, system in place, so what I've done is worked out the distance of the blade to the edge of the uh, base of the circular saw, measured that off for where my straight cut needs to be, and then I've measured off the back of the back of the piece that I want what the distance is to the back of the uh, level. So I can clamp that down so now I know I've always got the same line for all of them. Before I was just like measuring the line off this side and then I was measuring the, where the blade ended up on the thing. Anyway, this seems to be the uh, easiest way that I found. Uh, let me know in the comment section below if you've got a uh, better way of doing it because I'd love to hear it because I don't have a bench saw or anything like that or a uh, track saw. So yeah, that's just how I've dealt with it. Right, yeah, hard bit's done. So cut all the pieces to the depth that I want. Yeah, the easy bit, I'm just gonna cut them to length, which I'll be able to do on the drop saw because I can get that full cut on there. So, it should go a little bit quicker now. Let's do it. Oh 
you know, fun bit. So I'm just going to put all these together. So I've done these in previous videos. You want to see up close how I do it, but pretty much just got the three shelves, bottom, middle, and top, two end panels, and a rail across the back. Pre-drill and put in 50 mil screws. Really, pretty simple uh, little shelf, and then the rails are top of the shelf um, sections uh, flat so they don't bow on the back and we can use those to screw into the back wall so let's put them together Well, damn, it's banger up. I am gonna have to find an off cut timber somewhere though. And, um, I've got that gap on the ends where the beam comes down, so it's still got to find. And the gap I'm talking about is what this is gonna produce. So, probably gonna have to get something during the week because I don't have anything here. But I've got these just to get me going for now. So, like I did on the other side pretty much, just gonna have an infill piece in there. And then, same here. So, screw this in, and then I'll see what I can do. Monday night after work, let's see what we can get done.
before and after work sesh. A lot easier when you've already got the pieces cut. So I got him up. Might have a crack at uh, doing the other one tomorrow night. We've got to get some uh, timber to run in between the uh, two shelves there. Yeah, so we're on our way. Well, right, another night after work. It's bloody fresh. Got the uh, jacket heater heated jacket on. Uh, been to Bunnings, picked up a bit of timber to fill those gaps in between the shelves. Knock up the last shelf and then I'll work out whether I'm going to leave a gap or do a small shelf in between. So, let's do it. There you go, another set of shelves that I just didn't even need yet. But anyway, they're there. So I decided I'm gonna leave that little bit open, obviously. Got a feeling I'm gonna hang something in here. I'm thinking maybe one of those big flowers, um, but just leaving it open for now and uh, you will deal with that when the time comes. Hoping I'm gonna get some Hoping to get some new tools soon so I can nut out a bit of a charging bay and tool storage soon. So, um, yeah, remember to hit that uh, like and subscribe button so uh, you don't miss the next video. So, cheers for watching. See you on the next one.